Hey friends, welcome to Christy Reacts. If you're new here, I'm Christy, and here's where we watch all the shows, movies, and videos that you recommend. Today, The Sopranos. But before we jump in, let me take a quick second to acknowledge for the first and only time in my life to my older brother who edits my videos, you were right and I was wrong. You were right and I was wrong. You were right and I was wrong. And for the viewers, a little context, my brother had been up my behind for years to watch this show. And I just didn't feel like I had the mental or emotional capacity to deal with somebody else's problems and somebody else's like family drama. My brother kept saying like, no, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. And I'm like, no, no, I can't. It's just, I think it's too much for me. And nowadays, now that I started watching it in this channel, it is my favorite time of the week. I get to disconnect from my normal life, my very chill, <laughs> non-gangster life, and I get to watch this circus. Now, I don't mean circus in a bad way, but we have self-centered Tony, we have terrible, terrible person, Livia. Both kids know about their parent, their their dad's business. Carmela lives in guilt and also her husband. It's just, it's kind of a circus and I love it. And I hear that it gets better. So let's talk about the last episode. In the last episode, we saw Tony as a little kid and we got to see how he turned out the way he is now. So we have a lot of flashbacks and we see Tony watching his dad beating up someone else, Rocco something, um, and understanding that his dad is in the mafia. We also see Livia and her tendencies and we see Johnny really struggling with Livia because he wants to kind of get out of the business. He suggests moving to Nevada to start. He suggests moving to Nevada to start a business with a friend and Livia threatens to off her children rather than letting them go to Nevada. So we can tell how selfish she, she is. And the fact that Tony remembers it so clearly is kind of heartbreaking. We also see AJ getting in trouble at school and the school suggesting that he may have ADD and Tony really struggling with that. He struggles with the idea that his kid is has a disease and he also has a hard time with the idea or the fact that they know, his kids know what he does. He thinks AJ is doomed because Tony is in the mafia and Tony's dad was in the mafia and so forth. So I actually really, really loved seeing this human side of Tony, this, this father in him. This episode is titled Legend of Tennessee Moltisanti. And I have no idea what it could be about, although I think Christopher's last name is Moltisanti, if I'm not wrong. I'll have to look into it. But um, I hope we get to see Christopher more. We've barely gotten to see him in the past couple of episodes. So I want to I want to see him again. I miss him. I also want to see more of Dr. Melfi slash Tony's drama. I want like what happens there. Does anything ever happen there? I want to know. Don't tell me, but I want to know. And um, what is Junior doing? Are the feds like inching up on him? Like what's going on there? I want to see if Junior has a handle on being a boss now or is he still being a little erratic? Let's jump in. I have my hydration. Bleh. Sorry, that was really loud. I have my hydration station and my headphones that I just charged and let's do it. Have you ever had this? Have you ever had this chocolate? It's the best chocolate. I'm gonna have a piece now. Woke up this morning. Got yourself a gun. Got yourself a gun. Oh, hello, Christopher. I missed you. Is he dreaming this? He's floating. Hmm. What? What is this? Oh my god. Adriana. In the Czech Republic too, we <gasps> love pork. Ever had our sausages? Salami sub. Hold the mayo. We're out of mayo. I feel like he killed 
emo. Change my meat to Black Forest. You killed me. What do you want me to do about it now? I want to tell you. Tell me what? You come here every night. You fucked up. What do you Here's these. Ooh. Where did you find them? One in the table, three in my skull. Get rid of these. Oh. Ah, let go of me! That's creepy. Really scary dream. And it sounds like he, it's recurring because he said, you come here every night. So he keeps just dreaming about the guy he killed. Oh, Ron, you look gorgeous. By the way, who's your date? Maybe who's your date? <laughs> come here. Come here. Funny Listen dad joke. I like a dad joke. I am nobody's darling. <laughs> this one here, she never disappoints you, I tell you that. Are you still seeing your other women, Lorenzo? Mm -hmm. Come on, at his wedding. I heard some disturbing shit last night. I wanted to talk to you about it. Yeah. I, uh, here's the priest, though. I'll be right back. Wait, how are you going to leave us hanging like that? Federal indictments. Yeah. Where the fuck you get this? I got a guy who owes me. He's got a gumado who works at FBI headquarters as a oh. work process. Indictments? What the fuck are you talking about? Are you sure about this? Oh, it ain't just my source in Jersey. Half of New York moved to Fort Lauderdale already. Right away, you're ready to lamb it. As far as I'm concerned, it's just speculation. It's rumor. Better be safe than sorry, no? I agree. It's better be safe than sorry. Tony, what do you think? What the fuck are you asking him for? <laughs> I'm just... You struck a nerve with Junior. Well, right now, you were thinking, Uncle Joe, that everybody should do a little spring cleaning. That was my next comment. <laughs> I love it. I love Tony guiding everything through Junior. Everyone's like, we gotta go. <laughs> Aww. She's staking the centerpiece. That's hilarious. Coming someday. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't have days off. Hmm. What's the matter? Nothing. Just here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Meadow. She she sees it. She now she oh, knows. Computer, now she sees it. See? So? You want them to see all that porno you downloaded? Oh, you better give me your jewelry. Oh, Jesus. Hey, they know we can't produce receipts. You want them stealing the shit from us? Come on. I'm not giving you my engagement ring. This isn't stolen. Is it? No. It is. It ain't my whole script now. A script. What do you think? Of the script? <laughs> Babe, I can't like give an opinion every time you add a sentence. I gotta have the whole story flow. <laughs> I'm starting with the dialogue. They're good together. I like her. My Tennessee William. So maybe this episode will center around Christopher because Tennessee Multisanti. I love movies. You know that. That smell in Blockbuster, <laughs> that candy and carpet smell, I get high off. <laughs> I'm gonna let all this love and knowledge go to waste. I'm riding. Turn on channel six. <gasps> Turn on channel six. I love that he answers, I'm riding. Like he's a writer. My sources tell me that Corrado Jr. Soprano mm. was made new boss after the death of Aprile. They named the him. Sopranos on TV uh, have long historic ties to the New York families. Style what about slaying of Soprano family associate Brendan Filone? Brendan uh, was it part of a power struggle? Interesting. My no one would ever have ranked him as Fillon. associate. He was a loyal <laughs> soldier, if you will. Yeah, no and he was yet. Brendan Filone, associate soldier. Fuck you. No, he was an idiot. Yes. I remember. Did they mention my name? No. Stop the fucking chit chat. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> you know, I'm up at Bard waiting for my care package. Mm. I don't like Melfi's that word, family. Jason. What? Ginzo? The word is offensive. I have a patient. You wouldn't want to say the word guinea in front of him. Ah, Italian male seeing the shrink. Let me guess. 
Mother issues. Why wouldn't you say it, Mom? Well, you just wouldn't. Which she's married. I thought she was dating the other guy. <laughs> now I remember why we got divorced. Uh -huh. Why should I refer him to another doctor? He's my patient. Well, you know you can't treat sociopaths. To describe an Italian-American in this country, invariably he's going to reference The Godfather, Goodfellas, good movies. And the rest are going to mention pizza. <laughs> good movies to eat pizza by. <laughs> Oh, and that's my patient's fault. Hey. <laughs> I realize that you've... She's defending him. And yet, that tiny, insignificant fraction casts such a dark shadow over 20 million hardworking Americans. You know, you never saw the Scotch-Irish pissing and moaning about always being portrayed as, as rustlers and gunslingers. Oh, that's absurd. To we, the 20 million. Don't talk to me about bad rap for like nationality i'm colombian everyone i tell i'm colombian they're like oh cocaine drugs pablo escobar <laughs> loyal did you see how he spelled loyal i'm kind of busy now and get some show you dell and cannoli and shit for the guys yeah show you what mm. Pastries. Hey, Gino. Can I get you? Give me some, um... Whoa, whoa, number 34, right here. He was in line, man. He just went out to go get gas in his car. Oh, so I could go out, fuck your sister, come back Saturday, <laughs> I go to the front of the line? All right, let me have uh, two new pollen and loaves. You uh, touch a single fucking crust, you're gonna wish you took that job at McDonald's. I wouldn't mess with Christopher. You come back in 10 minutes. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Someone's in trouble. What is it? Do I look like a pussy to you? No. I'm serious. Be honest. I won't get mad. No. Get a pastry box. <gasps> now fill it with cannoli, shfuyadel, and napoleons. Shfuyadel? How many? <gasps> <laughs> He robbed a pastry shop. How much is Next it? Next time you see Pay my face, it. show some respect. I will. <laughs> no! You Why you did you have to life. shoot him? Why? Oh, you fucking asshole! I called you last Christmas. <laughs> Fuck this. Hey, this fool you done. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I called you last Christmas. I love that. Who is it? I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh, come on in. Uh, I, I just said that in case you were that snooty ass Mrs. Ryan down the hall. Come on, get dressed. I'm taking you to brunch. What? What? You heard me get dressed. What's wrong? Tell me. Is it Anthony? Those indictments? His father could take it in stride, but he can't. I no. don't believe you. We just went to a wedding. Yeah, that was a big to-do. This way, you and me, we get to spend some quality time. It is kind of suspicious. going to stop serving brunch any minute. It is kind of suspicious that someone would want to spend time with Livia. Did he cheat on you again? <gasps> you know, I try to do something nice. I'll, uh, I'll throw something on. <laughs> Buckle your seatbelt, Ma. I can't find it. Where is it? <laughs> Are you sure Carmela is not the voice of Lois in Family Guy? Are we sure of that? What's he gonna do? He's gonna check the room for for bugs or Hiding everything. I don't know if I would try. I would actually just leave everything in that bag and put the whole bag somewhere. I don't think it's safe to just drop things here and there. I think she's gonna check him and find a gun. 
So you're telling me that you're planning a vacation, but you're not sure exactly when it will be. Right. <laughs> I may never go. <laughs> There's a strong possibility that it could happen. Does this have anything to do with what's been on the news lately? Don't say. And I should wait to be contacted? Mm -hmm. That would be a good assumption. Messy home. Not a fan. I thought we were stepping up. I got two broads in the car. <laughs> you said Aid went to stay at her mother's. What's wrong with you? Talk to me. This ain't like your kid. Told me the regular cops in Nutley are looking for a guy. Blew off a kid's toe for no good reason in Russo's bakery. Drove a Lexus. Been working my ass off on this movie script. You know how many pages I got? 19. That's that a lot. lot. Or a little. I feel like that's, that's right. Books say a movie's supposed to be about 120 pages. Well, you're doing great. My advice, put that thing down a while. We go get our joints capped. And tomorrow, the words will come blowing out your ass. <laughs> you ever feel like nothing good was ever going to happen to you? Yeah, and nothing did. So what? It says in these movie writing books that every character has an arc. Like everybody starts out somewhere and then they do something, or something gets done to them, it changes their life. That's called their arc. Where's my arc? He starts down here, he ends up here. Where's my arc, Paulie? I got no arc either. I was born, grew up, spent a few years in the army, a few more in the can, and here I am. <laughs> I have a wise guy. So what? I got no identity. I mean, even Brendan Falone's got an identity. He's dead. I killed that fucking email cola on nothing. All I got is nightmares. Oh, dang. That happens. The more of them you do, the better you'll sleep. I had one <laughs> prick chase me for months in my dreams. I feel like he's trying to tell me something. That we fucked up the night that we buried him. Why the fuck would he want to tell you you're in danger considering you put a fucking moon roof in the back of his head? Agreed. You know who had an arc? Nola. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <gasps> Is he digging? He's digging it out? No fucking way. Oops. Sorry. Oh, is that him? Oh. Now that would be some fucking coincidence if it wasn't, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh. He was clean shaven, he's got a fucking beard now. Oh, you know no. what? I read that. That happens. Jesus, I always thought it was bullshit. No, is that true? Over the fucking juke. <laughs> <laughs> so he keeps growing? For how long? It's funny how even during our marriage we saw things differently. I never saw this place as an investment. I always thought that would build a house. Every Italian boy bows down to the freckles. I married you. Yeah, I was a mother figure. Don't bust my balls with Freud by numbers, would you? <laughs> Don't bust my balls. Watch it, Richard. Your calibres is showing. What are you somehow implying by all this? I'm I'm ashamed to be an Italian American. You know, you're all worked up about my patient, a man who has no bearing on who you are or where you are in this world. This man's a criminal, Jennifer. He doesn't know that. He's assuming that. <clears throat> that was a nice shot as the train passed. Is he gonna yell at him? Sorry, I'm late. The alarm was. Ah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Tony. We're under a microscope and I got a hair on the street. You shot some fucking civilian in the foot because he made your way for buns? Fucking Seriously. Paulie. Don't blame fucking Paulie. Occasion comes to me and says, Dudley PD's got a description. And I'm making the car. And fucking Georgie comes into the club. He's got vomit all over his shirt. I ask him, what the fuck? He says, you're digging up somebody you clipped three months ago. I was worried. Shut up. People do that shit. They want to get caught. Oh, I want to get Seriously. caught. Seriously. Yeah, you want to get caught. I've seen it before. That's fucking cowboyitis. Yeah. He deserves that yelling. I don't know, Tony. It's like just the fucking regularness of life is too fucking hard for me or something. I don't, I don't know. He's looking for the arc. He's trying to get caught so there's something Look to happen you. to him. Oh, he loves him. I bet you sleeping all the time, right? It's the only thing I still enjoy. Maybe I have cancer. What? 
Remember how Jackie got? Thinking maybe you're depressed. Me? I'm no fucking mental midget. Yeah. And the it's backwards. Watch the the what? Filter. Oh fuck. Maybe you got a uh, serotonin problem. Mm-hmm. Or whatever the fuck they call it. Huh? What, take fucking Prozac? Not this skinny guinea. I like that Tony's concerned about his his nephew. They had a nice moment. He got scolded and, you know, talked to and talked with. Anthony Soprano, you know you have children in the house. That's why the team's waiting out front. We don't think it necessary to traumatize kids by kicking in doors. So sweet of you, FBI. Hmm. He's on vacation. Indefinitely. Why don't you tell me what you're looking for? Maybe I could save you some time. Any incriminating evidence would be nice. Dad, they're taking my computer. I have an English paper. I better have all my programs on there when it comes back. Anthony. <laughs> don't mess with What the hell are you doing in my kitchen. refrigerator? If you forgot your lunchbox, pal, why don't you just ask? I'm very sorry. Grasso. Ti faccio culo così. Hey. Your ass. Hey, 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 Tony, take it easy. Take it easy. Grasso, take it easy. Clean up the bowl. Come on. Clean up the bowl. I mean, what's he think? He's, he's going to make it to the top by arresting his own people? Pass the mushroom. He'll see. He'll learn. Jesus Christ, you think there never was a Michelangelo, the way they treat people. <laughs> Did you know that an Italian invented the telephone? <clears throat> Alexander Graham Bell was Italian? Antonio Meucci invented the telephone, and he got... Antonio Meucci. Not everyone knows that. I didn't know that. <gasps> what? La Cosa Nostra, who invented that? Who cares? Wasn't it Salvatore Lucana, better known as Charlie Lucky Luciano? Wow, she knows her mafia history. First American saint was Italian, Mother Cabrini. That's right. Wow. The Jew Antichrist, I got the electric chair in Massachusetts. Anarchists. <sighs> Isn't it Antichrist? There were two innocent <laughs> men who got the chair because they were Italian. I liked that family dinner. Just so you understand that I have to charge you for the missed session. What are you talking about? What if I got hit by a car? But you weren't. I know, but what if? But you weren't. We're talking hypotheticals here, Dr. Melfi. Because this is what it's all about, right? Motherfucking cock sucking money. Oh yeah. my God, that's scary. And I don't appreciate being made to feel afraid. Exactly. I don't appreciate feeling like I pour my heart out to a fucking call girl. It'll show it as paid on your next month's bill. Fine. Stick it up your ass. <gasps> Tony. I'm sure he's telling the psychiatrist it's all his mother's fault. Get you over it, Olivia. Psychiatrist. Yeah. The psychiatrist. No, you told him. He's been him. seeing one for a while now. No, you told him. God only knows what he says. And Junior, I don't want there to be any repercussions. Then why'd you even a say it? Psychiatrist? You're a broken record. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> My God, they mentioned your name in the newspaper today. The Star Ledger. Mrs. Jones told me with all those scumbags. After her last encounter with him, she finally acknowledged that she saw the different side of him, the subhuman. Frightened, revolted. At long last, appropriate emotions. What does it say? What does it say about him? Is it negative? I mean, I'm guessing because he took everything, but he doesn't look mad about it. Who plays this? Is this cake? Sounds a little like cake, but I didn't see who it was. Hmm. Okay. All right. No, don't start. Stuff happened. Let's unpack. 
We see a lot of Chris in this episode and Chris is having a lot of thoughts about himself. Like he thinks he doesn't have, he's first of all, he's writing a script for a movie about the mob, but also he thinks he doesn't have an arc or like a situation in life that shapes him. So we see him do a couple of really dumb things. In the middle of this FBI investigation, he shoots a guy on the foot, the clerk, um, for no reason or just the, the guy was rude and also he goes and digs up the body of Emil 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 who he shot and killed very early in the season and he does this because he's having dreams about him but I think it's such a dumb idea to do this in the middle of this FBI investigation it's almost like he wants to get caught which actually would give him that story arc that he's kind of looking for he actually resents Brendan, remember Brendan? He resents Brendan for being mentioned in the news as a soldier and whatnot. At the end, we see Christopher, he gets mentioned in the newspaper and he goes and buys all the newspapers. And I don't know if he's really happy about it. He seemed happy, but I don't know if they mentioned him in like uh, in a negative light. I didn't catch that. So if you know, let me know, please. You know how I need your help sometimes. But in general, it looks like Christopher is depressed and, and Tony really feels for him. Tony's trying to help him. Tony, I mean, he Christopher doesn't know that Tony sees a shrink. So Tony's like, oh yeah, I saw it in a program, but Tony's identifying those depressive tendencies um, in Christopher. Dr. Melfi's family is concerned that she's treating an Italian that, you know, has tr has trouble. They're, they're all assuming that he's in the mafia and she kind of doesn't deny it. And everyone's concerned about her. And at first she's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. But then when Tony actually shows her his bad sign and just like throws money at her, she's actually feeling frightened. And then, then we see them talking about it in family therapy, but but I really hope that she doesn't drop Tony. I feel like Dr. Melfi is such an important character and I really want to see that story through. I want to see what happens with them too. I'm kind of low-key hoping more stuff happens between them. I don't know why. The first time I saw it happen, it made me so uncomfortable, but now I kind of want more of it. At one point, we see the family eating Chinese takeout and it was a beautiful scene to me. They were all talking about their heritage and the contributions that Italians have had in history and all the great things they've done and I kind of liked seeing them band together it's very obvious that they know the kids know that that Tony's in the mafia they talk about the mafia uh, but they also talk about saints and inventions of telephone and da 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 so I really liked that scene and I know I've mentioned this before but I'm such a fan of family 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 guy Tony I keep just getting more and more involved with this with this show I, I can't wait for next week to watch it again so if you liked this video don't forget to like share it with your friends subscribe if you haven't and go follow me on Instagram at Chris reacts and I'll see you guys next week I'm gonna go to Home Depot now.